peritonitis is an inflammation of the peritoneum, the thin tissue that lines the inner wall of the abdomen and covers most of the abdominal organs. Peritonitis may be localized or generalized, and may result from infection or from a non-infectious process. Signs and Symptoms Abdominal Pain and Tenderness The main manifestations of peritonitis are acute abdominal pain, abdominal tenderness and abdominal guarding, which are exacerbated by moving the peritoneum, for example, coughing, flexing one's hips, or eliciting the Blumberg sign. The presence of these signs in a patient is sometimes referred to as peritonism. The localization of these manifestations depends on whether peritonitis is localized, or generalized to the whole abdomen. In either case, pain typically starts as a generalized abdominal pain, and may become localized later. Peritonitis is an example of an acute abdomen. Collateral manifestations, diffuse abdominal rigidity is often present, especially in generalized peritonitis, fever, sinus tachycardia, development of ileus paralyticus, which also causes nausea, vomiting and bloating. Complications, sequestration of fluid and electrolytes, as revealed by decreased central venous pressure, may cause electrolyte disturbances, as well as significant hypovolemia, possibly leading to shock and acute renal failure. A peritoneal abscess may form, for example, above or below the liver, or in the lesser omentum, sepsis may develop, so blood cultures should be obtained. Causes, infected peritonitis, perforation of part of the gastrointestinal tract is the most common cause of peritonitis. Examples include perforation of the distal esophagus, of the stomach, of the duodenum, of the remaining intestine, intestinal infarction, intestinal strangulation, colorectal carcinoma, meconium peritonitis, or of the gallbladder. Other possible reasons for perforation include abdominal trauma, ingestion of a sharp foreign body, perforation by an endoscope or catheter, and anastomotic leakage. The latter occurrence is particularly difficult to diagnose early, as abdominal pain and ileus paralyticus are considered normal in patients who have just undergone abdominal surgery. In most cases of perforation of a hollow viscous, mixed bacteria are isolated. The most common agents include gram-negative bacilli and anaerobic bacteria. Fecal peritonitis results from the presence of feces in the peritoneal cavity. It can result from abdominal trauma and occurs if the large bowel is perforated during surgery. Disruption of the peritoneum, even in the absence of perforation of a hollow viscous, may also cause infection simply by letting microorganisms into the peritoneal cavity. Examples include trauma, surgical wound, continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, and intraperitoneal chemotherapy. Again, in most cases, mixed bacteria are isolated. The most common agents include cutaneous species such as Staphylococcus aureus, and coagulase negative Staphylococcus C, but many others are possible, including fungi such as Candida. Spontaneous bacterial peritonitis is a peculiar form of peritonitis occurring in the absence of an obvious source of contamination. It occurs in patients with ascites, in particular, in children. Intraperitoneal dialysis predisposes to peritoneal infection. Systemic infections may rarely have a peritoneal localization. Non-infected peritonitis, leakage of sterile body fluids into the peritoneum, such as blood, gastric juice, bile, urine, menstruum, pancreatic juice, or even the contents of a ruptured dermoid cyst. It is important to note that, while these body fluids are sterile at first, they frequently become infected once they leak out of their organ, leading to infectious peritonitis within 24 to 48 hours. Sterile abdominal surgery, under normal circumstances, causes localized or minimal generalized peritonitis, which may leave behind a foreign body reaction and or fibrotic adhesions. However, peritonitis may also be caused by the rare case of a sterile foreign body inadvertently left in the abdomen after surgery. Much rarer non-infectious causes may include familial Mediterranean fever, TNF receptor-associated periodic syndrome, porphyria, and systemic lupus erythematosus. Diagnosis 
A diagnosis of peritonitis is based primarily on the clinical manifestations described above. If peritonitis is strongly suspected, then surgery is performed without further delay for other investigations. Leukocytosis, hypokalemia, hypernatremia, and acidosis may be present, but they are not specific findings. Abdominal X-rays may reveal dilated, edematous intestines, although such X-rays are mainly useful to look for pneumoperitoneum, an indicator of gastrointestinal perforation. The role of whole abdomen ultrasound examination is under study and is likely to expand in the future. Computed tomography may be useful in differentiating causes of abdominal pain. If reasonable doubt still persists, an exploratory peritoneal lavage or laparoscopy may be performed. In patients with ascites, a diagnosis of peritonitis is made via paracentesis, more than 250 polymorphonucleate cells per I one quarter L is considered diagnostic. In addition, gram stain is almost always negative, whereas culture of the peritoneal fluid can determine the microorganism responsible and determine their sensitivity to antimicrobial agents. Pathology In normal conditions, the peritoneum appears grayish and glistening. It becomes dull to a euro four hours after the onset of peritonitis, initially with scarce serous or slightly turbid fluid. Later on, the exudate becomes creamy and evidently suppurative. In dehydrated patients, it also becomes very inspissated. The quantity of accumulated exudate varies widely. It may be spread to the whole peritoneum, or be walled off by the omentum and viscera. Inflammation features infiltration by neutrophils with fibrinopurulent exudation. Treatment Depending on the severity of the patient's state, the management of peritonitis may include general supportive measures such as vigorous intravenous rehydration and correction of electrolyte disturbances. Antibiotics are usually administered intravenously, but they may also be infused directly into the peritoneum. The empiric choice of broad-spectrum antibiotics often consist of multiple drugs, and should be targeted against the most likely agents, depending on the cause of peritonitis. Once one or more agents are actually isolated, therapy will of course be targeted on them. Gram-positive and gram-negative organisms must be covered. Out of the cephalosporins, cefixitin and cefototin can be used to cover gram-positives, gram-negatives, and anaerobes. Beta-lactams with beta-lactamase inhibitors can also be used, examples include ampicillin sulbactam, piperacillin tazobactam, and ticarcillin clavulanate. Carbapenems are also an option when treating primary peritonitis as all of the carbapenems cover gram-positives, gram-negatives, and anaerobes except for ertapenem. The only fluorokinolone that can be used is moxifloxacin because this is the only fluorokinolone that covers anaerobes. Finally, teakcycline is a tetracycline that can be used due to its coverage of gram-positives and gram-negatives. Empiric therapy will often require multiple drugs from different classes. Surgery is needed to perform a full exploration and lavage of the peritoneum, as well as to correct any gross anatomical damage that may have caused peritonitis. The exception is spontaneous bacterial peritonitis which does not always benefit from surgery and may be treated with antibiotics in the first instance. Prognosis, if properly treated, typical cases of surgically correctable peritonitis have a mortality rate of about less than 10% in otherwise healthy patient. The mortality rate rises to about 40% in the elderly, and or in those with significant underlying illness, as well as in cases that present late. If untreated, Generalized peritonitis is almost always fatal. Famous cases, on May 13, 1864, 21-year-old Private William Chrisman of Pennsylvania, who had died of peritonitis, became the first military man buried at Arlington. The Swiss Freudian psychiatrist and psychoanalyst Hermann Rorschach, best known for developing a projective test known as the Rorschach inkblot test, died of peritonitis in 1922 at the age of 37. Famous magician and escape artist Ari Houdini died of peritonitis after a fan asked to punch him in the stomach, a practice that had become a part of Houdini's repertoire. Speculation remains in regard to the exact reason for the performer's death, 
but one medical professional has suggested that the punch caused a rupture in Houdini's intestine. Following Houdini's initial refusal of surgical treatment a Euro 4 physicians tried to persuade him to undergo surgery a Euro he died two days later on October 31, 1926, even though he eventually agreed to undergo surgery. Actor Rudolf Valentino died of peritonitis on August 23, 1926, after suffering a ruptured appendix. He also developed pleuritis in his left lung and died several hours after entering into a comatose state. Rhythm and blues singer Chuck Willis died from peritonitis in 1958 at the peak of his popularity. References Biology Online's Definition of Peritonism Retrieved August 14, 2008 uh, Appropriate prescribing of oral beta-lactam antibiotics, peritonitis, emergencies Merck Manual Home Edition Retrieved November 25, 2007 uh, Kalush, William Sloman, Larry the Secret Life of Houdini, The Making of America's First Superhero. Simon & Schuster. ISBN A978-0-7432-72073-1. Smarter Every Day. How Houdini Died, Smarter Every Day 108 Inches. Smarter Every Day on YouTube. Google, Inc. Retrieved May 30, 2014. Uh, Valentino loses battle with death, greatest of screen lovers fought valiantly for life. The Plattsburgh Sentinel. Associated Press. August 24, 1926. PA1. Retrieved May 15, 2010. Uh, Gilbert King. The Latin Lover, and His Enemies. Smithsonian.com. Smithsonian Institution. Retrieved May 30, 2014. Uh, external links. Peritonitis Disease Causes, Treatment Treatment Basis, Article on Peritonitis at allreferred.com, Genuity and Napolitano L. 2004. Peritonitis and Abdominal Sepsis at emedson.com, Peritonitis at healthcentral.com, openabdomen.org, Peritonitis, Medical and Surgical Therapy Reviewed.